Parj Vakunasana is the pose that I'm going to cover in this adjustment video. Uh, I'm going to show you some things that I do for Parjva um, in terms of getting people aligned, and then we'll do a bind, and I'll show you my favorite adjustment for that. Okay, Parj Vakunasana, please. Now, the foundation of this pose in terms of what's going on in the front and back leg are the same as warrior two. So if you have questions about that, especially the back leg, please watch the warrior two video. Now with Parjva Konasana, <clears throat> you can have a student with their hand on the ground, with their hands on a block, with their hands, with their elbow on the knee. That's completely fine. But what you want to observe aside from the feet, which again, look at the warrior two video is what's going on in the midsection, right? A lot of students think of the pose since we learn yoga through sight as an opening. So they back bend. So back bend for me. Mm hmm. Yeah. He's so floppy. <laughs> He's so like backbendy. Okay, so they backbend. And you can notice that I usually step up from behind, coming around the front of a student like this is really invasive and distracting for their balance. So I'm usually adjusting from behind. I want to just brace his outer hip back with my leg because that butt likes to stick out. And then I just gently draw the ribs in. Another thing that tends to happen is because students are looking to open the shoulders, but instead of opening the shoulders, they typically open too far with the hand. So what I like to do once the ribs stay in is make sure that they know that the hand should be in line with the shoulder and to broaden from the collarbone to open the shoulders. He doesn't have this problem. Okay, rest. <sighs> Parjva Konasana bind. You can do the other side. You're doing a good job. <laughs> Imagine holding a pose while a teacher teaches, blah, 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 blah. All right, he's going to come into the bind. <clears throat> now, with the bind, a lot of students sag down, just rest. A lot of students really want to get into something like this because it looks advanced, right? And it does feel good. And the benefit of the pose is not just opening the top shoulder, but also strengthening the legs. So what I look for is to make sure there's just a little bit of space between, that's a lot of space, but a little bit of space between the ribs and that leg. That means that this outer hip is working. Then from here, I stabilize his leg. I don't want him to lean too much, but just stabilize. And then I take Take one hand to the upper back and the other hand to the front of the shoulder and just gently peel open. Okay? And before I step away, I make sure he can balance nice and slow. Great job. Enjoy this one. Feels good. <laughs> 